Y ahora vamos a hablar con Dusty Pearson, que es un ingeniero también de la Nissan, que nos va a dar todos los detalles acerca de la Nissan Pathfinder, pero ahora en su versión híbrida. Well, uh, Dusty, uh, we're here uh, testing the new Pathfinder Hybrid, a new model, I mean, a new variation of that mm -hmm. very popular model. Why coming out with a hybrid of that vehicle? Well, when we, when we started looking at the uh, opportunities that exist in the, in the hybrid market, one that wasn't there really is this hybrid that's kind of a mild hybrid that gives the customer um, performance, um, uh, it gives them better fuel economy, obviously, and without compromising anything with our existing platform. So that was one of our key reasons for coming out with this Pathfinder. Yeah. And what are the advantages for the customer then in, in a mileage and a right. gas consumption? Yeah, I think as I mentioned, um, we don't have really any compromise. Like uh, some of the competitors, when they launch their hybrids, there is some compromise, whether it's interior space. So we, when we developed this car, we said we didn't want to compromise the existing interior cabin space. Um, and so that was one of our key attributes. So you know, our, our third row is the same size as it is in the convention mm -hmm. the batteries located underneath it. So we... Um, We really focused on giving the customer improved fuel economy without sacrificing performance of the vehicle. Uh, this our vehicle is a two four wheel drive, so it's it you can take it off road. You can do everything you do with a conventional. You can do with this hybrid. Yeah, and um, uh, percentage wise, uh, how, how how much improvement would people see driving this? Uh, fuel economy percentage is uh, up of 24% percent over our conventional. So we're we're excited about that. Combined is 26. Um, so. That, that in itself. How does that compared to the regular one? A 24% increase over our conventional. Oh, yeah, but yeah. like in, in numbers like uh, city, yeah, I, highway? Yeah, yeah. Our, uh, I, got, I don't have the conventional numbers with me right now, okay. but, but it's 24%. Well, 24, which is yeah, a lot. So, it's a so, lot. so um, again, you, I mean, uh, Nissan already has hybrids in other, in other models, but the, the Pathfinder was kind of, of surprising. So, like... Customers so, actually ask for yeah. the Pathfinder to be a hybrid? Well, so what we did is, we're, and we do it with all our programs, we go out and talk to, uh, you know, it's one of my main focuses to go out and do focus groups, talk to customers what they like and don't like about their current car, uh, what's, what's not out in the market now. So when we talked to customers and said, what's keeping you from buying a hybrid? Why would you not buy a hybrid? Okay. One of the big reasons is cost. It's very expensive to, to develop a hybrid system and for the customer to pay for it. So that was kind of an unmet need. Um, so when you look at the price point, um, if our, our system is, you know, $3,000 plus on the, from the conventional, most hybrids are $6,000 plus. So we found an area where these customers are willing to step up for improved fuel economy to say that they're environmentally conscious, which is very important for all of us, especially for Nissan. Um, but give them the same kind of uh, performance. So they didn't want to, again, I keep going back to performance, but they didn't want to give up anything. That yeah, was nobody their, wants to give up anything. Yeah, and, 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 and of course they want it as cheap as possible. So uh, with that in mind, we developed a, a hybrid that is that is very robust, very uh, practical for the consumer who wants to spend $3,000 more. They're going to get a 24% increase in fuel economy. They're going to get the same Uh, performance they would in a conventional vehicle. So that's kind of the key attributes for this vehicle. Yeah, and uh, speaking of performance, you said like same, uh, same, uh, same kind of performance they will get, but I think a little bit like they will lose a little bit on the towing capacity, right? Yeah, so, so also when we talk to these customers, um, most customers that own hybrids don't tow you know, big boats, but we wanted to give them some flexibility to be able to tow recreational vehicles. So uh, we have a 3,500 pound towing capacity for this vehicle. It's down from the conventional, the conventional is 5,000, this is 3,500. Um, so we think we've, you know, you're still you able cover, to- You covered that it, area. It was a compromise need, where you yeah. can still go out and, and, and use the vehicle in, in pretty much any way you want. Yeah, great. So then uh, Pathfinder Hybrid, when uh, it goes uh, on sale here in the States? Actually, it, it's going on sale right now. Oh, already? Yep. It's already yep. sold? Yep. Yeah. We're building them and, and shipping them out. And where is it built? Here in uh, Tennessee, in, too? In Smyrna. Well, well, thank you for the time and the information. Absolutely. Thank you. Pues esa fue la información acerca del nuevo modelo híbrido de la Pathfinder, la SUV de, siete, de 13 filas y hasta 7 pasajeros eh, que fuimos a probar allá en Nashville, Tennessee. Nissan tuvo otra noticia esta semana. Por fin, el taxi del mañana, el NV200T, el eh, taxi del mañana de Nueva York, ya salió a la calle. Han empezado este ciclo que van a, a tardar 5 años para convertir el Nissan NV200T en el auto, en el taxi de Nueva York para toda la historia. 
eh, para toda la historia, no para los próximos cinco años por lo menos. Ya regresamos aquí en Auto 060. Cuando regresemos, respondemos la pregunta si este es un buen momento para comprar un auto nuevo. <música> 